somebody posts a photo of themselves and then a photo of themselves aged like 20 or 30 or even more years into the future. So I also was seeing these photos and this sensation even hit the personal finance community with Jeremy from Financial Education and Graham as in Graham Stephan. And after seeing these photos, I said, you know what? That seems like a fun idea. I wanna jump on this bandwagon as well. So a friend of mine that I went to high school with sent me a photo of someone that we also went to high school with who did this face app as well, and it was really funny. So he sent me that photo, and I said, what's the name of this app? I gotta do this myself too. But after I mentioned that to him and asked him where to download the app, he said, I have no idea, but I'm not doing it because I don't wanna give my face to the Russians, all right? So having just finished up the third season of Stranger Things, I personally thought he was yanking my chain here. But after doing a little bit of digging, what he said was actually 100% factual. And that is why I am personally not using FaceApp and I would not recommend it until you understand what they're actually doing with the photos that they are taking of you and the hundreds of millions of other people out there. So I came across this last night at about 11 p.m. I set my alarm early this morning to shoot this video for you guys. So all that I ask in return is that you drop a like, drop a thumbs up on this video for the social reporting I'm doing here on this viral trend. I would certainly appreciate that guys as it does help out uh, with the algorithm and it will hopefully allow this video to be shared with more people. Now when you download the app itself, everything seems to be kosher. You open up the app, you don't even need to create an account in order to use it, and you just start taking pictures of yourself or allowing the app to access your camera roll, and then you can modify those photos. So what most people do, which is what we all do when we download an app, is we simply download the app, we don't look at terms and conditions, we blindly trust the developer of this app to be using our data in a responsible way. Or if you're like me, this is a thought that just never crosses your mind of what are they actually doing with these photos. But it's a question that really needs to be asked in the case of what's going on here with FaceApp. And when you actually dive beneath the surface here and look at the terms of service for FaceApp, let's just say things start to get a little bit weird and it almost feels similar to a plot to Stranger Things, which is just the weirdest part to me. So according to the FaceApp Terms of Service, which we're going to actually look at in a second here, you still own the content, aka your face. However, you gave FaceApp a never-ending, irrevocable, royalty-free license to essentially do whatever the hell they want with that photo. So do they want to take it and turn it into a Russian advertisement for a milk commercial? They have the right to do that. Essentially, they can do whatever the hell they want with that photo without your permission because they have essentially already gotten your permission as a user of the app. And I know this sounds kind of wild and far out there, so I want to prove it to you guys. I'm going to open up the terms of service now and show you exactly where it states this. And I'm going to link this up in the description as well just so you guys can check it out yourself and understand you know, what is going on behind the scenes of this app. All right, terms of service, section 5. Paragraph number two, you grant FaceApp a perpetual, irrevocable, non-exclusive, royalty-free, worldwide, fully paid, transferable, sub-licensable license to use, reproduce, modify, adapt, publish, translate, create derivative works from, distribute, publicly perform, and display your user content and any name, username, or likeliness provided in connection with your user content in all media formats and channels, now known or later developed, without compensation to you. When you post or otherwise share user content on or through our services, you understand that your user content and any associated information, such as your username, location, or profile photo, will be visible to the public. So essentially, you are surrendering your photos, your name potentially if you make an account, and your location to a app developer based out of Russia. Now, is that in and of itself reason for worry? I'm gonna leave that one up to you. It doesn't appear that they're doing anything malicious with this data as of right now, but what it is is what could potentially happen with this data three years from now or five years from now. So if we were to sit here and speculate as to what they're actually doing with these images, multiple sources online, I've been doing a lot of research on this, have said it is most likely being used 
to train an artificial intelligence facial recognition bot. But at the end of the day, the issue that I have with all of this is that they're essentially using a free app and capitalizing on virality to basically take people's data and harvest their data without them knowing it. And it is very similar to something that happened uh, about two years ago called the Cambridge Analytica scandal that also involved Facebook, and it was strikingly similar. So with Cambridge Analytica, this company released an app on Facebook called This Is Your Digital Life, and it was essentially a personality quiz, seeming totally innocent on the surface. But they ran ads and they got thousands of people to take this personality quiz. But essentially they took that data from that app, got an idea of people's political beliefs, and used that data to run political advertisements. So essentially it's almost like these apps are just a front for a deeper operation here, like we saw with Cambridge Analytica, and that may also be the case here with FaceApp. And the real issue here is that according to Forbes, FaceApp now has user data on over 150 million people, and not even 100,000 people will probably watch this video, not even 10,000 uh, in most cases. So most people will never even know that their data has been you know, compromised in this way, and most people simply look at this app as a funny gimmick but in reality, it is a method of harvesting data for who knows what the reason may be. But anyways, guys, I just wanted to put this video out here to warn you about using FaceApp. I want you to at least understand what you're getting yourself into before you simply download the app like everybody has and start taking funny photos because it goes a lot deeper than just making yourself look 20 or 30 years older. If you have a friend or family member using this app, Please share it with them just so they are aware of what is going on as well and help me you know, spread the word about what is going on here with FaceApp. I've also linked up in the description below some helpful articles I came across in my research that may you know, help you understand more about what is going on and more about the parent company that owns FaceApp. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one.